What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and we're back with another Sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at Paradise Key. And this world is an island desert community, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not sure about all the packs you'll need, but from what I am seeing so far, you will need university, pets. I see some supernatural lots over here. Also some ambitions and that might be it, but I'm not really sure if you'll need anything more or less. As y'all can see, the world isn't super big by any means. So I would definitely say check it out. I did get this world off of the exchange, but I'll leave a link down below if y'all want to check it out. So let's go ahead first. I think what I'll do y'all is we'll look at the community lots first. So I think what we should do, you know what? Let's start at the end of the world. Let's start down here at the beach and we'll work our way around. Okay. <laughs> let's go down here first to the West End Beach. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the West End Beach and I do see some girls out here. I'll so some picnic tables. I want to say these picnic tables came with seasons, I want to say. So you might need seasons as well. You do have like this little stand up here. So I guess we can scroll down just to see what's on the inside. So when you come inside, you have a desk, you have two chairs. So I'm guessing you could probably put like a lifeguard stand up here if you really wanted to. Maybe if you had Island Paradise, you could put like a stand out here somewhere and make this a little bit more functional. But this is pretty cool. There's also a money tree growing over here. So I think that's pretty useful. You know, you never know when you might need that. And there is also a life plant, which y'all know life plants are very valuable. There's also a bonfire over here on this side and of course you just have like two umbrellas out here but overall i would say the beach is pretty cool and it's not really that big either let's go ahead and check out this lot so this is the sunlit tides festival grounds so i'm guessing you'll need sunlit tides as well <laughs> all right y'all so we're over here at this lot and it kind of looks like a water park i would say because you have like things underwater i don't know if this is flooded or if this is intentional or not i'm guessing it, it might be intentional i would say but this is pretty cool so i don't think your sims can actually use it down here they may be able to i'll have to test it out but this is kind of cool though again i'm guessing you'll need sunlit tides for this i'm not sure I'm I'm not really seeing any sunlit tides objects just yet but you could need it for this i'm not sure but up here you do have two lounge chairs you do also have a telescope and a an art easel you also have an art easel right here more places to lounge out at let me go ahead and just open up the building on this side just to see so in here you have a self-serving bar a little place to lounge out at you also have a bookcase in the corner and then over here on this side yeah so i don't know if you need sunlit tides i'm not sure or not y'all but I know this is the lot that came with it, but on this side, you pretty much have the same exact thing. Just another little sculpture over here as well. And I do see some seasons objects. So you will need seasons as well. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and keep moving on. Let's go ahead and check out the fire department. So this is the paradise key fire department. This is the fire department. And I remember y'all telling me a while back that this one, I think is the one that came with sunset Valley. If you have ambitions installed, I want to say I could be wrong, but I know I have seen this one before, but let's scroll down because I don't know if it's anything different on the inside or not. Okay. So when you come inside, it's looking very familiar to what I've seen before, but you have the fire truck the car over here that's also the inventing table the fire truck over here as well and then let's see let's go all the way down first yes yeah, so you have like a little office space right here there's also a kitchen area bathroom so i am seeing i have seen this one before let's scroll up again you have a little lit sitting area up here with the game console and you have a telescope and an art easel so yeah i'm thinking this is i think this is just like the same lot maybe just with a different name it also has a bathroom in the back and then upstairs you have a foosball table another little desk over here the beds you can sleep on and you have a bathroom in the corner and then out on the back you have the sliding poles and you also have a treadmill and a weight machine out here so yeah i'm thinking this is pretty familiar there's also a picnic table and a grill out here as well so that's pretty cool all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on this way let's go ahead and next and check out the plum puddle park all right y'all so we're down here at the plum puddle park and this looks pretty cool like i like the park benches out here like the pond over here where you can come and fish at if you really wanted to you also have another little place to sit over here grill and picnic table over there another grill and picnic table over here i mean it looks pretty cool out here like you know it's kind of lush I, I know we are in like in the desert but like you know it's pretty cool i like it all right y'all let's go ahead and keep moving on now let's check out this other fishing spot so this one is called the old faithful fishing hole and then i guess after that we'll check out the library so this one is the bayside community library so let's check out the fishing hole first all right y'all so we're down here at the fishing hole and i see a picnic table and a grill over there there's also one over here as well there's a bigfoot sign right here so that's pretty cool <laughs> maybe this is like a bigfoot sighting there's also the pond where you can come and fish we have a wonder petal plant growing out here as well so that didn't come with university if you were wondering let's go to the library next okay y'all so we're down here at the library and it looks pretty cool i like the way it looks on the outside let's go ahead and open it up there's an office over here with a computer desk there's also a bathroom over here you have a little sitting area right here i like the design of the carpet <laughs> it's pretty cool though i like it kind of matches the chairs you also have a fireplace in here some bookshelves and you have another little desk over here in the corner let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs there's a little sitting area over here of course with more bookshelves and stuff like that you even have like a little kids play corner over here and then over here you just have like more bookshelves and stuff like that so pretty cool all right y'all let's go ahead and keep going on let's go ahead and check out the lay shark pool center so let's check out the pool next 
All right, y'all, so we're over here at the pool and it looks really nice. I love the color scheme and everything like that. Look, like I really wanna get into the water. Like, look at that. <laughs> You have the pool lounge chairs out here. You also have some picnic tables as well. There is something over here in this building. So I guess we can like scroll down just to see real quick. Okay, so this is where the bathrooms and the showers are. So you have like the bathroom stalls on both sides, the sinks, and you have the showers in the middle. So this is pretty cool, you know? You could come out here if you just need to cool off or something like that. All right, y'all. So next, let's go ahead and check out the Setsy Time la Laundry, and then we'll check out the Mr. Crunchy's Fitness. So let's check out the laundromat first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the laundromat, and honestly, it looks like the one that comes with Town Life stuff, the same with the gym right next door to it they look very familiar i don't know if it was changed or anything like that or edited on the inside but we can still scroll down just to see so when you come in you have the washers and dryers and the countertops and stuff like that over here you also have the trash cans and the sinks you have a little bar area so you could pull up like a coffee machine or like a self-serving bar in here if you really wanted to you also have more washers and dryers over here on this side a little table in the center and then when you go upstairs you have oh ooh, this is pretty cool you have like a nice place to sit up here like look at all the sectionals that's pretty cool and that's also a foosball table up here as well and you do have like a little rooftop that you could add more things up here if you really wanted to and then now let's go ahead and go next door to the gym now this gym like i said earlier does look like the one that comes with town life stuff if you have that pack i recently just got it so i'm not sure how everything looks so when you come in in this room you have the treadmills and the tv in here there's also like a little countertop area over here with a little gym bag over here that's pretty cool you have the bathrooms with the showers in here there's also a room over here with some more weight machines so that's pretty cool and then when you go upstairs and then when you go upstairs i guess you have like a little dance area with the stereo and the mirrors you also have another bathroom up here as well and there's a little fountain in the corner and then out here on the back you have a pool with some lounge chairs so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out i guess we'll check out all three of these lots at the same time since they're like right next door to each other so you have the litter acres cat jungle you have the dog digs dog park and you have the pump it up pony training ground so let's check out the uh cat jungle first all right y'all so we're down here at the cat jungle and i want to say that this is the one that comes with pets i could be wrong but let's go ahead and open it up though i feel like i've seen this one before oh i forgot to tell y'all too i think this world is populated by the way because there were sims that came uh, doing the welcome wagon when i put elliot down so i want to say this world is populated but i could be wrong but when you come in you do have like the pet bed the little cat condo pet houses over here pet bowls spring toys litter boxes and stuff like that so it looks very familiar to the one that comes with pets but i could be wrong let's go ahead and go next door now so this one is the dog park and this one looks pretty cool though i'm not gonna lie now i'm not sure if i've seen this one before i have seen some of the dog parts that come with pets but i don't know if i've seen this one so maybe this one is custom made i could still be wrong but you have a picnic table and a grill out here there is a bathroom over here so let's scroll down just so y'all can see what it looks like on the inside so you have a bathroom right there there's also the bone uh pond out here so you can come and fish there's also like some stuff for your dogs to dig up there's also another bench over here in the corner and then over here you have a grill and a picnic table some spring rides and then you also have like another bathroom which i'll just scroll down to show y'all another bathroom and then you have you know more picnic tables and grills over here and and some more spring rides so i want to say this one may be custom made or maybe just edited i'm not sure this sim's name is yoda so i think this world is populated and there's also a fire pit out here as well now let's go ahead and check out the horse training grounds since it's like right next door all right y'all so we're down here at the training grounds and if you have a horse you know you could take them here you can you know jump or uh race because you have like little racing pins right here so this is where you will come to train your horses they also could drink from the water if you really wanted them to so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and go this way and check out the bees bolorama i'm not sure if this is the one that comes with university but we can still check it out all right y'all so we're down here at the bolorama and i am seeing some harvestables at the top we have what do we have at the top peppermint and uh, some sweet grass growing and some onion and some green leaf so that's pretty cool so i guess you have harvestables up here if you need them but let's go ahead and open it up so yeah this looks like the one that comes with university again i can't i don't remember like how it looks 100 percent on the inside maybe these chairs are new i could be wrong but you do have some chairs in here the bowling lanes as well you have a stage over here where your sims can perform the sim is performing <laughs> some tables up here there there's also a, a bar right there and then you have the bathrooms in the corner and then when you go ahead and scroll upstairs you have another bar up here some more places for your sims could sit at you have the foosball table the pool tables over here there's a photo booth in the back you also have the arcade machines and some vending machines as well arcade games so yeah it looks like the one that comes with university but again maybe some things were changed i'm not too sure there's also like a balcony out here as well where your sims can come and grill and just sit out and stuff like that all right y'all so let's go ahead and zoom down over here into this section you do have like the fortune tellers 
wagon and you have the Amarium over here, but I still want to check it out and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead, let's scroll down real quick. Ooh, this is kind of cool though. So yeah, you just have like the rabbit hole things over here, um, but you do also have like a picnic table and a grill out here as well. There's also like a picnic table over here in the corner and also another grill. And then, you know, you do have like the beautiful water and there are some more community lots over here on this side. So I guess we could check those out now. Let's go over here next and check out the, the Ray of Sunshine Park. And then we'll go and check out Barney's Salon and Tattoo. I want to say this one is the one that comes with ambitions, but we can still just check it out. Let's check out the park first. Okay, y'all, I think this is the one that comes with town life stuff. However, I have not seen this lot myself personally, so I'm still gonna look at it, okay? <laughs> so let's see, we have the chess tables out here. There's also a fountain, another little fountain over here, little places where you can sit. You have a sandbox. This park is really nice, honestly. You have some spring rides, a tree house over here. You have a playhouse over here. You have a little swing set over here. You have a slide, more places to sit as well. So you will need town life stuff. I, for I've got I forgot to mention that, but you will need town life stuff if you download this world. Let's go over here next and check out the salon. Now this one looks just like the one that comes with ambitions, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's changed on the inside. Let's scroll down just to see. All right, let's see. So it is a little dark in here. I do have the lights turned on, but it is just dark. But this does look like the one that comes with ambitions. So you have like the stylist stations over here, a little places to sit in here as well. Bathrooms in the back, the front counter. You also have some more chairs where you can sit. And then this room is the tattoo room. And then you have like a little office area over here as well. And I think that's pretty much it for the inside of this. So since I've seen all of the community lots, let's go ahead now and just check out some of the houses. I do know that some of these houses are just like pre-built that's already in the base game. I think like, for example, I want to say like this house comes with Sunset Valley and I think this one comes with Sunset Valley or Generations, I want to say. So I know some of these are pre-built. So I'm going to just look at a couple of them just to be on the safe side because, you know, again, they may look like a house that we've seen, but you never really know. I'm going to start off though by showing y'all the house that Elliot lives at. So let's go down here first. All right, y'all. So this is the house that I placed Elliot down at and it's a really nice starter house. I think it has like two bedrooms on the inside. Let's go ahead and scroll down. He does have like the welcome wagon going on right now. <laughs> but when you come in, there is a little living room area right here with the bookcase. You also have a kitchen in the corner, kitchen table, bathroom, and you have a bedroom. Oh, so it's a one bedroom house, but you could honestly maybe like make this two bedrooms, maybe put like a, I don't know, maybe you could like split the wall up or something like that, but you do have a bed right here and you have another one right here. It is split kind of with the room divider. And then you do have like a little porch out on the back. And if you don't know who Elliot is, y'all, he is my toy god sim. He, he was in my nightmare legacy challenge. If you want to watch that series, I'll leave it linked down below. All right, y'all. So I guess we could just check out the houses like right next to Elliot. Maybe we could check out this house too. So let's just try this big one first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this house and I like the color scheme on the outside. Let's go ahead and zoom down. Okay, y'all. So I have the lights turned on, but it is kind of dark in here. I'm not really sure why that happens in the game. But when you come in, there's a little living room area right here, dining table, kitchen. You have a, a bathroom right here, a bedroom over here, and then one over here as well. You even have like a space for a computer desk. And then you have a little laundry room in the hallway. And then here on the porch, you have like two chairs. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and go to the house that's next door to him just so we can see. I don't think I've ever seen this house before. So I don't know if this comes with something or if this is custom built, but let's go ahead and, zo and zoom down just to see. So when you come in, there's a garage right here. You have a little laundry room right there. You have a bathroom. You have the dining room table, a computer desk over here. You have a living room in the corner, and then you also have a kitchen. And then when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom here and here. There's also a bathroom right there, a bedroom right here in the corner. And it's kind of like a Jack and Joe with this other bedroom. I like how they're like slanted to the corner. I think that's pretty cool but they share a bedroom so it's not super furnished in here so you could definitely move in and i guess like rearrange it more if you would like to let's go ahead and check out this house right here beside it now this house is pretty big and very fancy i like the way it looks let's go ahead and zoom down though so let's see when you come in this is kind of nice though so let's see when you come in you have like the dining room right here there's a living room right here in this area pretty nice you have a little office area right here, a bathroom in the corner. And then over here on this side, you have a kitchen. You have a little room with a foosball table, even like a parking space. Let's go ahead and scroll upstairs though. So when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom right here, one right here, a bathroom, and then you have like another bedroom with two single beds in it. So I'm guessing maybe like the kids or teenagers could stay in his room. You also have a, a computer desk and there is a stereo in here as well. And then out on the backyard, you have like a little chair where your sims can come and sit at. So you have like some space out here too. You could add more things if you really wanted to though. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and check out some of the houses in this neighborhood i'm not gonna look at all of them just gonna scup around a little bit just to see so let's start over here and i think we'll look at this house for first because it's kind of like interesting looking so let's check this one out first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i like the circular roofing i think that's pretty cool let's go ahead and scroll down though Ooh, this house is nice on the inside wait 
Indeed. Okay, let's see. So when you come in, you have like a little entrance area, maybe like a little foyer or something with a chair in it. There's a bedroom right here. There's also one right here with a chest table in it. You have like a little narrow living room area. You have a bathroom in the back. You also have a kitchen right here. So this looks pretty cool with a little kitchen table in it. Let's go ahead and scroll upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom right there. You have one over here with the computer desk. You have like a little half bathroom right here. And then you have like a full bathroom right here. And then over here in this room, I guess this is like a little den area, maybe like a little sitting area you can sit in because there's no TV, but you have a fireplace a chairs to sit at and you have a bookshelf so this is pretty cool you do have like a lot of space out here to add more things and then out here on the side you have like a little chair where you guys could come and sit at you could probably put like a chess table or like a, a grill or something out here if you really wanted to so that's pretty cool all right let's go ahead and check out let's check out this house right here next all right y'all so we're down here at this house and it's giving me like a mid-century vibe let's go ahead and scroll down i want to say i've seen this one before i think this is that i think this is a house that's in hidden springs if i'm not mistaken because i've seen this house before i want to say there's like a kitchen right here you have a bedroom another bedroom right there a bathroom a little living room area by the fireplace and then there's also like the dining table i want to say this one is in hidden springs i could be wrong but i have seen this house before or at least one really similar to it let's check out this house next all right y'all so we're down here at this house next and it looks pretty cool i like I like the little entrance way to the house you have like a little fountain out here is this like a pool oh it is a pool so you have like a little pool area out here that's really nice let's go ahead and uh, zoom down though oh so this house is uh mainly uh unfurnished so you have some empty rooms there's like a bedroom right here you have a bathroom right here as well so you could definitely add more onto this house i guess this is like one of those houses where you can move in and like furnish it more but this house is pretty cool though all right y'all so let's go over here to this side and let's check out like these two houses and i think we'll check out like some houses over here i'm just jumping around just to give y'all like a general idea of what the world looks like so let's check out this one first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and it has the wood paneling on the outside kind of giving me like that mid-century vibe let's go ahead and scroll down so when you come in there's the kitchen over here with the kitchen table you have a computer desk right there you also have a bedroom you also have a laundry laundry room right here there's also a bathroom in this corner there's also a bathroom over here a little living room area and another bedroom and then you have like some sliding doors that lead you out to the backyard there's nothing really out here i don't think so but you could definitely like add stuff especially like right here like on the little patio area so you have that and, and now let's go ahead and check out oh let's check out this house next wait i like this one too it's kind of similar to the other one i would say i don't know if it's different on the inside or not but it looks very similar let's go ahead and scroll down okay so this one is the same as the house that we just seen so you have that <laughs> so this house is pretty much the same let's go ahead and check out this big house right here though because this one really caught my eye i really like this one it looks kind of old and weathered on the outside really cool you have a little porch out here let's go ahead and scroll down though so let's see when you come in there's like a den area right here with a fireplace plenty of places to sit computer desk over here as well you have a kitchen i like that green color scheme you also have the dining room right here with a self-serving bar with a phone on it let's go ahead and scroll upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a bedroom right here there's also another one right here this one has a chair in it this one has a couch you have like two bathrooms right here which is pretty cool and then you also have a master bedroom at the end with its own door that leads out to a balcony which your sims could come out on maybe you could put like a chair or something or a grill or something if you really wanted to and have them to come sit out here this is pretty cool though there's even like a little back door right here that leads out to the backyard and this house is like right by the water so that's pretty cool as well all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out some of these houses over here let's check out this house i think wait no i think i've seen these houses before i want to say no i think i've seen this house before i really yeah I, I think i've seen this one before maybe it comes like in the base game like your library or something like that but i have I've seen this one before but let's go ahead and just scroll down just to see if anything has changed so when you come in you have like a little picnic table right here the kitchen living room area bathroom in the corner when you go upstairs you have a one bedroom right here with a dresser in it and you also have another bathroom up here as well and then you have a little like a uh, balcony area where you can come and sit at and then when you go upstairs again you have like a big room area up here where, with two beds so i guess like you can have like two sims sleep up here if you really wanted to maybe like kids or teenagers or something like that but they have a pretty big bedroom and they also have another little balcony out here uh where they can come out as well oh you know what this is like one of the rabbit holes that came with town life stuff that's pretty cool but let's just scroll down and see what this one looks like on the inside though let's see so ooh, yeah I yeah i've seen this house before maybe this one came with generations or something but i have definitely seen this house before there's like a bedroom right here maybe for a kid or a teenager you have it has its own ensuite bathroom there's also a foosball table a chemistry table out here you also have a living room and then out here on the backyard there is a tree house you have like an upstairs deck with a grill and a picnic table out here and then when you go upstairs you have a bedroom right here with an art easel a bathroom a kitchen up here so that's pretty cool you have an upstairs kitchen you also have a little area you also have a dining table up here as well and then you have a living room so i guess like the kitchen and living room are upstairs there's also like a chest table in here as well so that's pretty cool all right y'all i wanted to go back really quick just to see this house because i did say we were going to look at it and i forgot about it 
so let's just check this one out real quick okay y'all so we're down here at this house i don't know how i forgot to look at this one but like look at the window placement i don't know if that's intentional or what but it looks kind of old in here let's go ahead and scroll down just to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a living room you have a kitchen right here there's also a bedroom right here a bathroom and another bedroom so maybe this one is for the kids or teenagers in here so that's pretty cool but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video i know that we didn't see a lot of the houses mind you a lot of these houses and lots are like pre-built or like just taken from like the base game or like town life stuff so feel free to check more of them out if you really wanted to i will leave this world link down below again this world is called paradise key i think it's pretty nice i think it's pretty cool to think about having like a desert island world so i would definitely say check this one out it's not super big by any means so i would say definitely say check it out i'll leave a link down below i did get this one off of the exchange again if you were wondering but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me on twitch following is free and at my discord server because we talk about the sims all the time and it's a really cool vibe but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching